<laughs> Hello. Here Hello. we are. Here we are. We are about to build a Ferris wheel. We're assuming everyone can oh. hear us. Yeah, let us know if you can't hear us. Um, we are podcasters, but we cannot. It's audio. Anyway, we are building this Ferris wheel. I don't know how... Show the other camera, yeah, Harry. Go on. Sh- this sh- Ferris wheel? Mate, mate you've already forgotten oh. your job. <laughs> It's always it's so his job to swap between the cameras. Hold She's on, everyone. Realized Hold on. She's Hold on. It. There you go. Ready? Yeah. Uh, look. This Ferris wheel. Um, there we go. Uh, I apologise if the stream is a bit <laughs> kind of like laggy. Um, we're running off so his laptop, and it's really old, and it's a bit crap. And it's Apple. Uh, which is why we're here. Yeah. Can everyone hear us? Do Sound we know? Sounds good. We can hear you. Good. Good. Whoa, camera angles pro. Stri- it's really not. <laughs> Very mediocre. The setup is. Um, there you go. Cool. Probably gonna fall apart. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, we got this Ferris wheel. Um, Which we don't actually know what to do with. It's 120 pieces, so this could take like 10 minutes, or it could take way too long. So we'll find out. The recommended age is eight plus. Yeah, I think we'll manage with that. So. Who oh. knows how long it will take us? Wow! Look at this. I hope we don't need any tools or anything. Anyway, yeah, so uh, Aaron got us this for Christmas, um, and when I saw it, I thought, oh, this would be cool. I'd seen, seen other people live stream them building Lego sets. Okay. And I thought, Roller coaster you know, ones? No, 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 just, just, random just Lego ones. sets. I can't get into this. Where's the scissors? We didn't bring scissors, hold on. Yeah, but Lego sets, and I thought, damn, maybe it'd be cool if we build this Ferris wheel. Um, so the whole setup of the stream today is... I mean, next Sunday, I really hope it's not going to take three hours or two hours. I'm really hoping it's going to be like a 40 minute job. <laughs> Immersive screams, hello. Um, but yeah, no, Zoe's going to be keeping an eye on the chat while I do most of the building. Uh, and she'll be asking, or she'll be taking your questions. Yeah. So if you have any questions for me, Zoe, both of us, uh, let us know. It could be channel orientated, roller coaster orientated, or anything in between. Um, hello, everyone. So yeah, ask questions. So we'll keep an eye out for them. Yeah. Uh, and we're just gonna just gonna chat as we hopefully build this. Yeah. Coast Connection just said, fingers crossed, it doesn't take as long to build as a charity live stream. <laughs> I'm gonna give up if it takes that long. Yeah. Eight I, hours is quite a long time. Uh, Fishel asks, did you get any Lego for Christmas? No. Nope. You don't really have any Lego. No, no, not not anymore. Not an, as an an adult. I don't. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We're oh in. my god, it's tiny. Look at how small it is. Oh. Oh, I thought oh that's big. cute. It's not very big. Let's um, change angle while you read the instructions. All right. You better start keeping the questions flowing. Here we go. Here it is. It's, it's very small. It's quite small, but... Very small. That means it's going to be fiddly. Yes. There's a lot going on here already. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, have we got any questions yet? Um, Alright, well, it's not actually that bad. Question... How's it going? It's going alright. <laughs> it's going great. It's 2021. Um, another question. Uh, are you planning to bring any of your cancelled 2020 trips forward to 2021? Well, backwards. Backwards. Forwards. Backwards. Um, yeah, I mean... We're kind of just playing it safe at the moment and not really kind of planning too much. Obviously. No expectations. Yeah, pretty much because no, we don't want to have any expectations and we don't want things to fall through again. Yeah. Um, but I'm really hoping that we can do a lot more this year than we did last year. We really didn't do anything last year. Um, <laughs> Literally went to two parks, didn't we? No, well, three. three. Three in the end, but yeah, pretty yeah. much two. Um, we went to... It's already did broken. Did you break it? Yeah. I don't know why... Do you need glue? No, no, no. It's just a bit broken. Okay. Um, yeah, when we went to Blackpool opening weekend in February before kind of coronavirus hit Europe. Uh, so we don't really count that as a... That was pre-COVID It trip. was pre-COVID, yeah. So, but I don't know. I, honestly, I've been watching the... You've been, you're on the wrong camera angle. No, I'm not. Are you to We're playing on the this? zoomed one. Right, fair We're enough. watching you break it. Sure. <laughs> From a distance. Yeah. 
Um, Maybe we need to move it forward. Yeah, I've been watching the construction of uh, the new spinning coaster coming to Plopsaland and de Pont. Okay. Um, in Belgium, and then obviously the new mega coaster coming to Wallaby, Belgium, uh, Conda or whatever it's called. Mm. And I'd really like to ride both of those. I want to ride Fly. Yeah, yeah and, and then Fly as well. Um, love to just get back to Fantasyland generally. Mm. It's a piece. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, if we can it, make that happen, and then also, Andrew was meant to come uh, to the UK last year. Yeah. Obviously, I mean, it is last year now, isn't it? Yep. <sighs> Crazy. <laughs> yeah, Andrew was meant to come to the UK last year, and uh, obviously that trip got completely binned. Um, Techno Andrew left a comment on the live stream that we had last Christmas in 2019, and Andrew's like, if nothing goes wrong, I'll be in, <laughs> in the UK in 2020, <laughs> and then it's like, ah... Oh. Everything look, look at wrong. that foreshadowing. Yeah, so we don't know basically. No. Um, How's everyone doing? They alright? Yeah, there's lots of questions coming in. Um, what's your thoughts on the latest news on the London Resort? Very good. Excited? Yes. You want to swap camera because it's boring. Let's swap. You want everyone to look at your face? Yes, my concentrated face. <laughs> I can't, it's, it's stuck. Um, yeah, no, I think it's really good news. Ever since uh, PY, who's like the CEO now, or whatever, whatever, came on board, progress has been much faster, um, and it's been really good to see. Um, so I think there's a lot more kind of, there's a lot more potential now that it's actually gonna happen. Um, and obviously the 25,000 word, well, 25,000 page report going to the government is a huge step forward. Mm. Um, and it's already a project of national significance so that means it kind of gets fast-tracked a little bit through the um, government kind of processes so I think we stand a really good chance of it actually happening sorry I'm looking for a certain piece A11 here we go yeah, no, I think we stand a really good chance of it happening. Um, I mean, it's all positive at the minute. Yeah, so. and it's been a lot more positive the, the last year and a half than, mm -hmm. you know, however long it's been. And I think there's definitely room for it, you know? Yeah. Like, as much as Disneyland Paris is good, oh, Disneyland Paris shouldn't have been built in Paris, holy moly. Shouldn't have been built in France, let's be honest. Um, mm -hmm. So I think London Resort, you know, London is uh, an incredibly popular city. Lots of people travel there and having a, a theme park that's 20 minutes outside of London on the train, um, I think would bode very, very well. Yeah. And they'd be able to build it so it's eco-friendly. Exactly. And do all that kind of stuff as well. So it's very future-proof mm. as, a, as a, like an entertainment thing. They said in one of their live streams that they haven't actually nailed down any of the rides yet because they're waiting for the very last minute to do it because they want the latest technology. Which is cool. Yeah, so they don't want to, you know, plan everything six years in advance and then by the time it opens, it's old news. Yeah. Um, they very much want it to be up to date and kind of leading in terms of innovation. Here's one you'll like. What do you think is objectively the best roller coaster in the UK or the world? Uh, <laughs> objectively changes the game. Okay. So in the UK, I think objectively good roller coasters, the top three in no particular order, uh, Nemesis, The Smiler and Icon. Um, all the others are, you know, fine. Cool. Um, but no, I think, those are. This Sorry. is really funny because I'm watching you struggle to do th two things at once. I oh, know, I'm, I'm not very good at multitasking. Yeah. Um, I think those are just, in terms of actually kind of layouts, and if you ignore kind of the theming for some of them, they're just very interesting. Obviously, Nemesis is a very, very well designed roller coaster. And then I think the Smiler as well. You know, you look at that and you go, holy moly, whoever designed that. Mm. You know, John Lord Wardley and the the people at Merlin um, Magic Making, that's the one. Um, and Gerslauer uh, obviously did absolute wonders to design such a ride. I don't think, it, it definitely stands 
by itself in terms of you know how dense it is and and how clever the layout design is and then icon is just an all-around fantastic roller coaster and if you don't agree with that then you're wrong cool <laughs> so what nemesis well those three i just all three of them. all three of them i think okay. i don't want to say a particular one because oh, i've done this wrong what what what's the actual plan with this then you have to put the little round ones on what do you mean what's the plan do you know what you're doing? Yeah, yeah, so, I mean, there's the... Mm, it's very small, swap. isn't it? It's a quick swap! There's this here, and there's like four holes, and you got to put... Yeah, you okay. should, that should be over there, so that I can go like this. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Or should we just swap seats? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. Whoa. Oh, oh, sorry. Hello. We're back. Anyway, so that's what we got, and then you've got to put these little thingies in, and then you've got to put like a spacer on the outside of it. Um, so. <laughs> oh, it's so like Blue right. Peter. We've had a donation come in from Coaster Capital with a question. Yeah, what's the question? What do you think the next coaster at Thought Park will be? Um. A classic question. It is a classic question. Uh, what do you think it'll be or what do you want it to be? I think trying to figure out what coast is going to go to a park is always very difficult. And especially Thought Park because, I mean, what, what does Thought Park need? And this is the question as well. Like, some par sometimes parks really do think about what do they need, you know? Like, I feel like Alton Towers was a good example of this where... They needed a wooden roller coaster, and they got one eventually. Um, and often parks will look for rides that they're missing. Uh, say Lisa Berg, who built Valkyria, a B&M dive coaster. They didn't really have a drop coaster. There wasn't a roller coaster with a big drop in it. Yeah. Um, and obviously Valkyria came along, and that was the coaster. It was a roller coaster with one big drop. So when you look at what Thought Park needs. What do they need? Wooden coaster. Um, they've yeah. got inversions. They've got speed. They've got launches. Uh, they've got height. They could do with an airtime coaster, just an airtime machine, um, or as it's I said, a, a drop. A wooden coaster. Well, they got drops or the ride. Yeah, I guess. So they're not actually that bad. You could go with flying, but uh, flying. You go with. Uh, they've got wing. So they're doing pretty well for themselves. So, I mean, realistically, I would go with one of those, you know, something like a, an airtime machine, which I'm sure many of you will be like, oh, RMC, <laughs> RMC, fine, yeah. Um, after the catastrophe of Thought Park's recent additions, though, they might want something a bit more reliable and mm. an investment that's really going to pay off. And I would absolutely love Thought Park to get a B&M hypercoaster because that would be absolutely Good. sublime mm. so because we don't have one of those europe itself doesn't really have too many of those either um so i think it'd be a really really fantastic addition to thought park uh it would eat up the crowds it would be really reliable and it would be something that the uk needs as a whole and it would show um that the big one is absolute garbage <laughs> yeah okay anyway thank you for the donation yes thank you uh Noah says, do you watch Friends? Um, yeah, I've probably seen all of it. Like, not on purpose, you know. <laughs> but accidentally. Yeah. Can we see what's going on here? Not really. Let me move it a bit. Yeah, move it a bit. Sorry, man, we're not it's really good at this. Work, yeah. You have to tell me when it's good, because I can't see. Yeah. You might want to bring it a bit closer forwards as well. Yeah. Tilt it a bit more, this Down. way, this way. Alright. Yeah, that'll do. Cool. Here we go, now we can see. Look at that. Anyway, I've put the t two pieces together. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm trying to. And now it's got to... Is that step one? Them. No, this is like step two. Okay. How long are we going for? It's not going good, is it? Uh, I don't know, but... 
14 minutes. 14 minutes? Yeah. Oh, I feel like I'm going to break this. <laughs> it's so flimsy. Anyway, next question. Um... I'm just finding the next one. This is so flimsy. Please be careful with it. I hope Aaron's not watching and you're just going to break it in front of him. I'm so <laughs> What do you have to this? do? Why like do you have to push it in? Pushing it together, but it just doesn't really want to go in. And Isn't it, feels, it in? Well, kind of. Oh. It just feels like it's going to snap. Anyway, yep. that's good enough. What is the best UK theme park soundtrack? Oh, um, don't want to sound biased, but <laughs> all the underscore soundtracks at Old Towers, absolutely banging. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I'm a score is very good. Well, I just think when, when you see people get annoyed at I'm a score because some of their music sounds the same and I agree it does sound the same, but it's not I'm a score's fault. It's the park's fault for just wanting advent classic adventure music yeah. all the time. And that's what soundtracks are most of the time well this is it um but then you know alt towers always give them a good kind of brief a really good brief yeah. then they end up with something that's really unique you know take the smiler take um wicker man even galactica even though it's just like space techno it was yeah. it was pretty much the first space techno for orion and such so i think they're all good i think all the tower soundtracks are really good um really nice really unique and a bit different yeah I need. Anyway, here you go. So now we've got. I can't believe how small this is. That's my hand. So <laughs> it's it, really cute though. It's tiny. I was expecting it to be like. Yeah, but it's cool because now you can just like put it right by your computer. Yeah, I will. I will. What piece do you need now? Anyway, let's swap view. Okay. Because we bought this one. The B5 and B9. Uh, how do you feel about pineapple on pizza? Uh, I don't like pineapple, so there you go. <laughs> All you like on your pizza is like meat. That's um, it. Yeah, so we had pizza the other day, and I uh, we go to Pizza Hut, because I like Pizza Hut, it's good. Um, and I had half and half pizza. Half of one side was one of the meat feast ones, which is just five different types of meat. The other side I made myself, which was three of the same types of meat that was on the other side, plus extra cheese. So that was Incredible. great. I'm, I'm really good at variety pizzas. Yeah. We've had another donation from Harry S. What do you think Blackpool should get next? Um, There's a theme. To all those who want a Mac Big Dipper coaster at Blackpool, you're wrong. It'd just, <laughs> it'd just be like Icon, but less forceful. So what's the point? <laughs> uh, again, you got to look at what, what does Blackpool need? Um, They've got a launch coaster now. I mean, they already had a launch coaster, but they've got a modern launch coaster. They've got a coaster that deals with height and speed. Uh, they've got lots of wooden coasters. They don't really have an airtime machine and they don't really have a heavily inversion-based roller coaster. So they're limited on space as well. So in my mind, something like a compact Gerslauer Infinity coaster that's heavily inversion-based mm. would do quite well. That's really different to what they really have as well. Exactly. Yeah. And it would be more thrilling than Icon would be in terms of, you know... Forces and Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Mm. So I think it'd be really good. And it wouldn't be too expensive. Have you been to Sweden? Yes. We have quite a few times. Well, are you talk about that. Three times? Um, three, yeah. God, now this is testing the memory. When did we go first time? Was it 2017? 2018. 2018. Yeah. We went to... Um, Gothenburg mm -hmm. to go to Leesburg because we won the Cupcakes and Coasters clamshell and then was it the following year we did the same? Yeah. So but, yeah, but then we also went with your family didn't we? Yeah we also went with my family last year um, and no, 2019 oh yeah 2019 oh that's weird um, and we went to um, th we didn't go to Leesburg that time we went to Gronoland mm -hmm. and we went to ride Colmarden. No, we went to no, ride we went Wildfire to Colmarden. at Colmarden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Close. Um, yeah, but we also went to Leesburg that year as well. We did. So was it three times we've been to Leesburg or two? 
Three. Two. 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 Yeah. The second time you went for two days. Yeah, that was it. So, yeah, we've been a few times, but it's a nice place, isn't Lovely it? Lovely place. Leesburg as well. Really, really nice park. Yeah. It's just a really nice park to be in. And a really nice city. Oh, for sure. The whole country is amazing. It is. The, the, one, the time we went with my parents, we saw, like, a lot of the countryside... Yeah. And we went to um, Stockholm like a lot of times because we stayed nearby. So thoroughly recommend Sweden when we can all travel again. Mm. Also Leesburg because it's probably my favourite park ever. It's definitely one of mine as well. Um, we're getting there. We're, we're speeding yeah, up. What's happening? How many steps have we got? We're on step four. Okay. Out of ten? Nine. Nine. Okay. We're getting there. Um, top bucket list park. Interesting. Park. Uh, park. Yeah, not ride. <laughs> we did a blog post about this. What did I say? Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um, so, it's always going to say Disney Sea. D- t- yeah, Tokyo I think Disney you C. copied me on that one. No, I didn't copy you. I was going to say that. <laughs> um, yeah. To be different. So, so I've got like two different varieties. Some parks, bucket list parks I'd like to go to just for the coasters, but others I'd like to go to because they're cool. You know, they're not... Yeah. Like Disney Sea is one of the ones that's just cool. There's not really many roller coasters there. Um, and you wouldn't go there for coasters specifically. Um, but it looks like a really cool place to go. Uh, if we're talking about coasters, then it's got to be Cedar Point. Okay. Yeah, I'd say Disney Sea or... I mean, my bucket list for like my whole life is different to like my close bucket list. Do you see what I mean? Mm. Like my close bucket list is like Efteling. Right. Yeah. Because yeah, that's yeah. one we might get to yeah. very soon. I agree. Do you see I what agree. I mean? There's a difference between bucket list parks of and all then time. Like, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, I don't include parks that I think I were going to get to soon. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, Disney Sea then. Just all the Disney's, I guess, mm-hmm. for me. I don't know, man. Um, officials come in here with what's your opinion on pizzas that use barbecue sauce instead of tomato um, if you, Joel what have you done if you eat pizzas that use barbecue sauce instead of tomato uh, you're just an idiot I don't <laughs> what what's all that about barbecue sauce on a pizza uh, what are you doing Harry doesn't like anything sweet so uh, as soon as you sweet talk barbecue about barbecue sauce is so grim whose decision it's was it nice. to put that on I feel like it's a nice change, especially when you have like chicken on it and bacon. Ugh. That's nice. But I don't know, you just gotta go for the classics, I feel like. Oh man. So Someone sad. else has got the Ferris wheel except they have gears on theirs. Gears? Aaron, where's our gears, mate? Yeah, how does that work? Maybe we do, we just don't know it. Well, I don't think we do. This one's very sm- small <laughs> compared small to some of the other ones I've seen. I'm hoping um, like it's on the right side. Is there a side? I mean, this should... is not gonna end well, is it? It's already not really working, so... Cool. Um, blah, 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 blah. What coaster in Denmark would you like to ride? What coasters are in Denmark? What coasters in Denmark would I like to ride? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm getting this wrong. Um, Do we need to go close up or are you going to break it? No, I might break it. It just doesn't make sense. It's happening. The middle's in. So if it's flat, so it wants the long way's flat. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Oh. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, um. What do you need? What tool do you need? I need all the bees. The bees. Oh, here. Bees. Yeah, get all those out. Okay. Denmark. Give, give us a question. What do we think of Denmark? What no, which it? rides do you want to go on in Denmark? Um, I gotta admit, I don't really know that there's too many in Denmark. Uh, but I mean, I gotta say stuff like Paraten looks fantastic. Mm. Um, all of uh, Jers Summerland. That is the right place, isn't it? No, no. Is it? Oh, I can't remember. I don't know. Um. Are you breaking it or are you thinking? No, 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 I'm thinking. Okay. <laughs> I've just. I'm too... Shall I look up Denmark? Um, can you write in the comments what rides there are in Denmark? We'll come back to that. Most anticipated 2021 attraction? 
I mean, what really is opening? <laughs> um, no, I'll tell you what's opening. Um, David, David Williams is opening. Yeah, yeah. Velocicoaster, I'm Guazi. One of those two, I would say. I I'd think, say Velocicoaster. I think Velocicoaster is going to be easily one of the best in the world. Yeah. So. Not that we're going to ride it, but. Well, not anytime soon, but we yeah. We can watch it. Um. There's a lot of pizza questions coming in now. Pizza questions? Thoughts on jalapeno pizza, what's that? Well, jalapenos. Just jalapenos on pizza? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. That's a, that's an okay question to ask her. Yeah, they're all right. Um, doo -doo -doo. All right, I'm, I'm getting there now, I've figured it out. It's just a bit fiddly. What do you think will happen to Vampire at Chesington now it's over 30 years old? I mean, not much right now. There's, I think... not, there's not reason to get rid of it yet, is there? No, it's old. Apart from that. Um, How do you get these out? Don't know. You don't need those right now. Okay, good. I've got all of these out then. The circles. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. I think Chesington don't really have a lot else going for them. So I don't think mm. they can exactly get rid of... Unless they're going to replace it immediately. Yeah. I they can't really. No, I don't think they'll uh, plan to get rid of it anytime soon. Um, but perhaps I'm wrong. Who knows? You never really know. Chesington have been doing some good things recently, though. Like yeah. making cool decisions. Yeah, uh, Chesington have been doing kind of like a fantasy land, but slightly different in the sense that they've been kind of fixing uh, all of the crap old rides they had. Um, whereas for Tigerland would rip them out, Chessington's been kind of upgrading them. So we take Bubble Works that was really old and tired, and they changed it into Gruffalo, right? Mm -hmm. um, which looks awesome. Haven't been able to ride it yet. I've been keeping meaning to, but mm. um, and then they did the same with their Log Flume, Tiger Falls, um, and and that new area they've done now. They've got like a new area. Yeah, yeah, they do have a new area, and then they've got Croc Drop coming in, a new. <laughs> Um, drop tower with a massive crocodile head essentially like all the jaws yeah like that and you drop <laughs> into it you know imagine a drop tower like boom um so that looks awesome as well so yeah i think chessington have been doing some really good stuff what chessington need though oh they did a two they really did a tomb blaster didn't they whatever it's yeah called. is it called tomb blaster tomb raider i don't know something that tomb, 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 tomb something tomb blaster um yeah, they redid that as well, which was great. Apparently it's a lot better. Um, but yeah, I think they need a big coaster. Uh, there's a lot of really low capacity rides at that park. And I feel like they need a decent coaster that has a decent throughput just to help deal with the crowds. Yeah. Um, Joel said Tornado, the Intamin Spinner. Yeah, That's sorry. Denmark. I've only just realized what country we're in. Um, okay. Yeah, there's... Oh, dim, yeah. dim, the one I can't say. There's Tivoli Gardens uh, there in Denmark as well, right? In Copenhagen. Yes. Dim, dim, that. Demonen. Yes. Yeah, that's at Tivoli Gardens. Um, yeah, sorry, I was too busy preoccupied trying to get yeah, this Yeah, Tivoli would be cool. So Because Andrew said it was good, didn't yeah. he? It spins, but it oh. doesn't spin frictionless. I don't know if that's... Have you put it too tight? Maybe too tight, but... Um, Uh-oh. It's fine, doesn't matter. Like um, Domino's or Papa John's? Interesting uh, question. Papa John's. Yeah. Domino's, I don't know why, but we just don't fit, we're not Domino fans. Uh, for some reason. Like, they just don't have enough cheese on there. You want to swap the view? Yeah. Um, when does Biscuit Bot make a return? Never. Never. <laughs> that was quick. Never coming back. <laughs> it's dead. It's all gone. Um, apart from roller coasters, what are your favourite kinds of rides at theme parks? Uh, I used to hate drop towers, but now I'm kind of more into them. They're the only them. ones that make you feel alive. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I quite like riding all the drop towers. Mm. Uh, I'm big, as much as I hate, like, well, as much as I s seem to not like log flumes, I'm a big log flume fan. You love a log flume. Yep. You always go on them again. Big fan of rapids. So water rides, generally, I, I really quite like. Mm. Um, then... Flat rides, I love an intimate gyro swing or, yeah. you know, a similar ride by any manufacturer. Absolutely love those. They're fantastic. The SNS um, 
Scream and Swing, that's the one. Love mm. those as well. Love the Gerstlauer, uh Sky Roller, Sky Flies. Absolutely love those. So flat rides, generally, I do quite like, but I'm not one for super intense flat rides. Uh, i got to admit, I don't really deal with those very well. So, yeah. kind of your more airtime focused flat rides, ones that are a bit more kind of fun and casual rather than I'm going to kill you. Oh, and then obviously dark rides and all of that. Uh, pretty much yeah. everything. <laughs> there's there's a there's not a lot I yeah, won't go on. Yeah, there's not a lot you on. don't do. No. I don't know what we wouldn't do. Didn't like rides it. wise. We wouldn't do like things that aren't rides, like the shows and that. Well, it depends. But where that you're doesn't going. count as a ride, does it? No. Um. Okay, you're starting a new resort, a park and resort. What three roller coasters are you bringing to start with? Where? Wherever you want. Okay. Um, let's say in the UK, let's say we build an under resort. Okay. Three roller coasters. I will take... From anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. <laughs> um... Hmm. Sorry, I'm just going to check if it's the wrong one. That's so many pieces. I oh, know. Um, my gut instinct was Shambhala for some reason. So I'll take Shambhala. Okay. Uh, obviously, a really nice hyper coaster. I think that would fit really well. Um, I think we definitely need a dark ride roller coaster. Um, and I actually haven't done too like many Darren? of them. Like Darren? No, that's not a roller coaster, is that's it? That's what I was thinking. So he said three roller coasters, didn't he? Yeah. I'm talking more of Reve Revenge of the Mummy at Universal. Okay. Something like Wouldn't that. Wouldn't you take like Hagrid's or something? Yep, there you go. That's exactly what I want. Hagrid's, that'll do. Okay. Um, yeah, I'd have Hagrid's. So now I've got one that's big, one that's family and interesting. What else do you want? Wait, what have we got? Hagrid and what? Shambhala. Uh, you need something intense. What? Mm. Like in like a thrill intense. I guess. Don't know that. Depends what kind of park you want to build. Well. Tiger maybe. Okay. Yeah. Tiger's quite nice. That's a really intense one. Um, Anything at Energy Island. Oh yeah. no! I'll take Velocicoaster. Why not? Okay. Basically, Rides that aren't built it yet. just seems like Universal. I'll take Universal stuff. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'll have Velocicoaster, please. There you go. Cool. It's quite nice, isn't it? Um, pizza or pizza? Uh, definitely pizza. <laughs> um... <laughs> did you do the log flume at Leesburg? Yes, yes, we did. You talk about that. Uh, it was good. I can't really remember a lot of it. But it goes through the mountain. Goes up the hillside, yeah. Yeah, the mountain. Um, yeah, it was nice. There wasn't a lot of... Um, you like a bit of theming, don't you? Mm-hmm. I don't remember a lot of that. No, there wasn't a lot. It wasn't too bad, though. It was though. quite cute because of the scenery. Yeah, there was stuff to see, other rides to see. Yeah, because so. it's so dense. It was like... Uh, I think we said this before, that it was like themed to Leesburg. <laughs> yeah. Because you just saw like all the different rides and everything. Yeah. Most underrated park you've been to? Underrated? Yeah. Uh, that's a difficult one. I find it really difficult to kind of rank um, theme because parks. Because does that mean underrated to yourself or to like the general Well, well surely. Consensus? You can only have underrated to you. Okay. Um, Hansa Park. Yeah. Really nice park. No one really talks about it. Uh, mainly because they haven't really been. Uh, but... I think Hansa Park has a lot of fantastic additions. Um, and I think Hansa Park is really doing a lot of great things. Uh, they're also doing kind of like a similar thing to Fantasyland, which is all of their old crappy rides, they're either removing and replacing, or they're even kind of just upgrading them. So they had this um, Swatchkoff sit-down coaster and called Nessie, and they 
gave it a before it had like a it was basically like a traveling coaster mm. at this park and it didn't look very good at all i remember riding it had one of those like metal stations you know the floor that looks like corrugated yeah, metal yeah. like helix <laughs> well kind of but yeah <laughs> yeah um it, it was ugly so then they put a, a huge scottish scotland inspired castle like station around it okay. and repainted the trains uh and just kind of kind of gave it new life and then also put a drop tower inside of one of the helixes of the ride of the roller coaster and it just kind of breathed new it life it up. into the whole area mm. exactly and that is exactly what they've been doing throughout the entire park they really really want to watch moving forwards especially when they get another big addition you gotta think they've been they built Fukuon Novgorod that launch in uh, Eurofighter then built the Schroeder's Cannon um, well, well, obviously my favourite roller coaster, and both of those are pretty mental. So who knows what they're going to build next? Yeah. And it's coming up, I reckon. I you reckon think? it's coming up. Ooh. Okay, we had another donation from Rack Hudson. Oh yeah, thank you. Um, how do you feel about hang time elements like stools? Um, so so, I I can't say I'm one who loves just relentless hang time. I like a bit of it, but not too much of it. You know, I'm, I'm not one who wants to be upside down for like two seconds, but I like the idea of being upside down very briefly. Um, so I feel like it's better in a short burst because otherwise, yeah. the sensation of it is like too much. Yeah. So a good example is um, Icon mm -hmm. on the Immelman. Yeah. Because you do in the front or well in the back even you get um, hang time going through the Immelman and then you get pulled down at the very end. And it's kind of like you get just enough hang time and then instantly you kind of whip down. It's great. Yeah. So I do like it, but um, just not a huge fan of too much of it. What would you like to see changed or added in the Valhalla refurbishment? That's from Zach. Um, well, first of all, I'd like for it to work. <laughs> so... I'm not sure if that's a bit too much to ask. That, that would help if it just, you know, <laughs> ran. In all honesty, um, I just want to see it be more reliable. Whenever you hear about Valhalla, everyone always, you know, raves on about all of the special effects, but they don't work half yeah, the time. Yeah. So I'd like to see something. It needs that... to live up to the name. Yeah, exactly. So scale down some of the effects to get them to be more reliable and so they work every time rather than, you know, working... A fraction of the time yeah and also get rid of the bin bags yeah just neaten up a bit. yeah it, it, that's it it just needs a bit of neatening up it's some of the areas are really nice but some of them just feel like it's a completely different ride mm. um so i feel like yeah it just needs a bit of enhancement for certain areas like the bin bag tunnels yeah do you like legoland which one just legoland i've only been to one anyway yeah uh yeah i do it's nice for kids but it's nice yeah it's a good one yeah we're getting there these are so fiddly you're just making all of the carriages carriages yeah right? i don't know how many there are though there's not a lot to see let me just put this here we can change yeah you might want to change um did you have a good christmas Yes, thank you. I hope you did too. I hope you all did. Mm. If you could only go to one park for five years, what would it be? Oh, Christ. <laughs> What's with these questions, <laughs> man? Um... <sighs> That's really hard. I feel like that might be the case though for the next five years. Can I go anywhere? Yeah. Any park. Uh, can I say the whole of Disney World? <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a cheat, isn't it? Um, yeah, yeah, is that a cheat? It is a big cheat. I don't know. It's... I don't know. That's I a big commitment. I can't answer. Yeah, but it is. But look how big it is. There's so much there. No, I mean choosing one of these parts exactly, is yeah. huge. It's too difficult. Too difficult. <laughs> I don't know. That question. I don't know. <laughs> what, what would you? What park would you go to if you yeah. could only go to one park for five years? You want to choose a park that's going to get some investment over those five years. Otherwise, Yeah, that's bored. got a lot of stuff to do. Exactly, which is why I said Disney World. Yeah, don't know. Um, hero or Infusion? Infusion. <laughs> 100%. Easy question. Uh, 
god. Do you like Gardaland and what do you think they need as the next coaster? Go on, you can answer that one. Uh, I really like Gardaland. So do I. That's quite underrated, I feel like. Definitely. Um, it's because they've got no really well known roller coasters. Yeah. They need a. It's just a solid park. Yeah. Yeah, they do need like a headlining. Yeah, for sure. Crazy, right. But they've got a good selection anyway, so it's quite hard. They do. Because um, they have Raptor, which yep. is the wing one. Yeah. They have wing. the drop of the in the hole thingy. Living in the black hole. Uh, what else do they have? Is that day was quite a blur. They've got that weird water coaster. They do. That is a weird which water was, coaster. Which was I quite like that one. Yeah, it was interesting. What else do they have? Um, what else do they have? I got the world's worst SLC. Uh, Blue Tornado. Oh, yeah. That's bad. They've got yeah. a weird Rapids ride. That's mm -hmm. strange. Um, they've got Shaman, which they're yeah. retracking yeah, for yeah. no reason. Can't believe that it. That ride's a bit of a mess, I feel it's like. crap. Um, I don't know what they could get, though. Well, as you said, a big headlining Maybe uh, like a coaster. launch or something. Launch coaster, exactly. Intamin multi-launch, please. Mm. There's your ticket. Um, what is your favourite Merlin Park? I can answer this for you. Go on. Alton Towers. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> and then closely followed by Gardland. I've been to really? all of them, all the all the theme park resorts. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, mm, Alton Towers, Gardland. Hyde Park, Thought Park. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is the ugliest coaster you've ever seen? Oh, that's a good question. There's quite a lot that are quite ugly. Oh, yeah, but what, what's... Depends what you feel by ugly. I'm trying to think really bad colour schemes. Um... That's a really hard question to think of. It is, isn't it? I feel like some of the really old ones where they have like huge old props. Mm. Like, I love Potter's Park, but that weird like caterpillar. creature caterpillar yeah, that one is very strange. beyond me. It like, is I very don't strange. Get it. But it's just old and they're just old like huge big props of like uh, monsters yeah. and stuff. It ain't great. That was a bit weird. But it's not, I wouldn't say it's ugly, it's just bizarre. There are some coasters. It's God or four colour schemes. Yeah. Like Wonder Woman Lasso coaster is the McDonald's coaster. It's red and <laughs> yellow and it looks Yeah, it's a bit much. Grim. Um Do you think the London Resort would destroy Merlin Parks near London such as Chesington and Thorpe? Uh no. Destroy is quite a strong word. Yeah, I don't think it will. <laughs> I mean you gotta think that they're different scales. Yeah. Um, just because, you know, Disney is around and Universe is around doesn't mean places like SeaWorld or Busch Gardens can't thrive as well. Yeah. I feel like, you, if anything, it will do good because they'll start to invest Exactly. More. And that, that is what the ultimate hope is, I think, for, for me especially. Yeah. Um, is that London Resort will cause some of the Merlin Parks to start to try a bit harder because they have to to keep their attendance. But... You gotta yeah. think they're doing a different thing. London Resort's gonna be really expensive to get into. Yet the Merlin Parks can play the opposite of that and be a lot cheaper to get into. Plus, I feel like London Resort's more of a worldwide um, audience. Oh yeah. Whereas people coming in to visit London aren't gonna necessarily go out to Thorpe, so they'll be playing more to like the UK people. Mm. So it'll be kind of like they're still doing the same thing, but there's a bit more competition because we've got another option. Do you yeah. see what I mean? Yeah. Don't know. I feel like it would be good. It'd be fine. It'll spark some competition. For sure. Um, what's your top three flat rides? Oh god, top three flat rides. Yeah. Um, Maelstrom at Drayton Manor. Mhm. Mm uh. Probably Loke, Loki at Leesburg. Yeah, I love that one. And but, Jukebox. <laughs> yeah, well, and Jukebox. <laughs> I was about to say that. Yeah, I honestly, those are all good. I like Maelstrom a lot. 
have a lot of that. What about the sky flyers though? Yeah, they're good, but I like Maelstrom. Okay. I don't know what, what it is with Maelstrom. For me, it just packs more punch than some of the other ones I've been on. Mm. It's just, I don't know. Love it, man. Maybe maybe it's nostalgia. I don't know. I can't pin it. Yeah. I feel like if we went back on Jukebox, it wouldn't be as good. Yeah, for Maybe sure. we should just never go back on it. <laughs> like, ever. Because yeah. we only went out that one time. Yeah, 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 at night. It was amazing. <clears throat> um, Zoe, how many roller coasters have you ridden? How many what have I ridden? For? Probably about 90, 90 now. 90 something? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I do have a count somewhere, but I don't really look at it, to be honest. Hopefully we can get you to 100 this year. Yeah. It's probably doable. Good one. What? <laughs> well, I don't think you'll be that far off it. If we end up going Let's to some of the drink. places that you want Let's to go to. Let's not drink things, then. though. No, of course, but... Yeah. What's going on with this, then? How? What's the little sticks for? Uh, to put the cars together the carriages okay. they go through the top of the carriages awesome. my thumbs are getting absolutely <laughs> annihilated it's because it's wood like it's actually it's laser cut it's quite hard we're nearly there though once these are in then oh god that's fiddly <laughs> yeah we're nearly there I'll let you make the bench mate oh thanks so much oh my back. You need a break. I'm just Ooh. waiting for more questions to come in. We've got. Come on, guys. Good questions. Um, thoughts on Tornado Springs at Poulton's Park? Uh, it looks fantastic. It does. It? it looks really cool. It looks um, definitely going to be going to that. Hopefully, you know, opening day or something like that. We'll yeah, that'll be another cred. Yeah, exactly. Um, but no, I think it's not going to be. I, I was talking about this with Zach, you know, and we were saying that. <laughs> I feel like people are hyping it up a bit too much. It definitely isn't going to be like the world's best roller coaster. Far from it. It's only a family coaster. It's not even an intense family coaster at that. Yeah. Um, but it's the area, you know. That's the whole thing. It's, it's just like so well done. Yeah. The whole vibes of exactly. it. Exactly. The area will be really nice and it'll be a nice new addition to the park. Uh, probably the park's best roller coaster. Um, but yeah, I mean, don't expect anything crazy. Yeah. Um... Harry, do a video of Zoe's Vogue coasters for this year. Yeah, we can do that, actually. Mine was quite tragic. Like, I really... Mine was tragic. I found it? it really difficult. It is, it is. Yeah. I grouped a lot of them. Yeah, because... I need to group more next yeah. time. Yeah, I did a lot of grouping at the bottom. That's fair enough. Like, big time. Grouping's really powerful. Yeah. We'll have to definitely have more of a push for it next year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is helpful, but it just still takes time to even like think about yeah. which group it should be in. Yeah. Um, another donation from Mark Hudson. Whoa, what do you say now? Thank um, you. Zoe, which Alton Towers ride would you get rid of? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, which one would I get rid of? Rita. Because I don't like it, and <laughs> it hurts me. And also, it just doesn't really fit anymore, does it? I was not feeling the vibes down there really no it's not a but very nice area I don't really like riding that one anymore because it just hurts my head a lot and I don't think the pain is worth the like thrills that it gives you mm -hmm. what's that another carriage one of them switch quick it's one carriage well hey yeah I'd definitely get rid of Rita I feel like a lot of people would agree or maybe not people are you know, crying now. Sorry. But what else would you... I mean, people in the chat, like, what would you get rid of Alton Towers? Yeah. Well, maybe, like, Galactica. But no. I really like that one. I don't, but I'd still get rid of Rita. Forbid... I you mean, can't um, get rid of anything else, surely. Well, you can. Galactica. Uh, <laughs> Dark Forest is just a mess. It's an absolute mess. And yeah. get rid of Rita, you can fix it. Oh, people are saying Spinball. Now we love Spinball. <laughs> I really like Spinball. Spinball's, we love spinball. spinball's a mess, but it's also not in the way of anything. It's just funny though. It's just it just exists. Yeah. Let it exist. Rita exists in the way. Spinball is not in the way. People are saying the kitty coaster. Someone said get rid of Smiler. No, don't do that. That's wrong. <laughs> oh dear. Um. That's a dodgy move. 
Do we know what the colour scheme of that Flamingo Land coaster is yet? Well, I don't know. I don't really get it. I think it's meant to be silver, but then it's not but quite silver But wasn't it silver, silver already? Yet. No, no, no. It was like yellow and red. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not too sure. Silver would be nice. It would be nice. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> On the, uh, like, the artwork, it's like, it's silver with a Union Jack train. Oh, brilliant. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That Which sounds very patriotic. Strange. Um, what are both of your favourite inversions on the Smiler? Dive loop. Mine's probably the same, but I don't know which one. No, come on, I'll give you an answer. The one where... <laughs> the one where you go... Is it a Cobra? <laughs> like, no, the you one... Really like that one. The one where you go I like... I can't even visit. So you go up like this, yeah. and then you go like that, yeah. and then you come back down. The one where you go swap to the main one, <laughs> so we can show people. The tragic. Are you talking, so you go up, yeah. then you twist, and then go back down? No. No. You you do that kind of thing, and then... So and you, then you do the opposite. And then you like spin so, back round to come back down the same way. So you go... Like that, and then down, and then back. Yeah. That's a back that? wing. Okay. That's a good one. It's at the end of the, well, near the end of the first half, right? Is that what you remember? I don't know. Oh, okay. But I like that one. Yeah, it's a good one. I like pretty much all of them, to be fair. There's a lot of good stuff, yeah. But no. My, my... favourite bit, though, is the airtime hill. Oh, yeah, the airtime hill. That good. bit is the best bit. Both of them are good. Can't believe they so. fit an air like two airtime hills into it. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> People are just telling us what they'd get rid of. It's quite mixed. Yeah, what are they saying? Um, Nemesis. Oh, sorry, no, that's a question. Um, <laughs> the Kitty One, Spin Ball, All of CBB's Land, wow. Get Rid of Smiler, no. I Love Galactica, Smiler. Um, oh, here's a question Do you miss G Force? No. No. <laughs> Wasn't very good. No, it was a bit tragic. I don't think I'd really miss anything at um, Drayton. If it I went, like if it went. a lot. Yeah. I'd miss Shop You Day. like it, but I feel like no one else does. I'd miss the drop tower. Yeah, it. yeah, but I mean like coasters. Yeah. Um, a lot of London resort love. Um, how many coasters do you think they will have at London resort? I don't know, it's a difficult question. Um, people have been looking at the artwork and there's something like 9 or 10 on there. Yeah. But whether they have that many, it wouldn't surprise me if they had, you know, at least like three big ones. Mm. You've got to think At least to start with. They'll be trying to compete with, I don't know, you know, like Disney. So they'll have to have more kind of big coasters than Disneyland Paris, I would have thought. Yeah. Which isn't hard because Disneyland Paris is like about five rides. So. Uh, what did you think of the Super Nintendo World preview? Oh, it looks awesome. We loved it. Yeah, it looks absolutely awesome. I'm trying not to look at it too much because we yeah. want to go to Japan and actually Do experience it. it. So. It looked, it looked like crazy. it was not real. I know. Like it was the drawing. Yeah. No, it looks really cool. I wanna, I really, really want to see what the Mario Kart ride is like, uh, but I won't. But I really want it. <laughs> We're getting there. It's these cars, the carriages are so fiddly. Yeah, they're quite small. Tiny. I like how they've got little love hearts on them. I know. If the big one was to be replaced with a new hyper, yeah. do you think it would cope with the battering from the weather? Uh, well, I'm sure they'd the design it. The only thing that stops, seems to stop the big one is strong winds. Yeah, and see... <laughs> Isn't that because they didn't really know that it would be a problem when they built well, it? Well, they probably underestimated it, for sure. Yeah. See, in my mind, what you would do to fix that is just make it higher and then put a trim on it so that if it's really windy 
the wind kills the speed. If it isn't really windy, the trim kills the speed. Right, okay. So the, the, you know, the first, the, the hills are a lot smaller than the first drop. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that way, you're always going over you're that first the hill at the same thing. speed, mm-hmm. yeah. But mm-hmm. they're just trimming it to make it that slow. Which people would hate, but would solve a lot of the problem. At least it'd be running. Yeah, exactly. Raptor or swarm? Raptor. Yeah. I always like it. It's more 100%. interesting. Yeah. More intense as well. Alton Towers will get a new coaster or a Nemesis full retrack and trains? Um, I really hope they don't retrack Nemesis. I feel like they wouldn't, would they? I don't know. It's difficult, isn't it? Because you can't really put anything else there. Well, you could. Mm. You, you, you gotta think, like, the whole pit of Nemesis was specifically designed for Nemesis. So but then you, you just change the terrain. Well, that's expensive. Yeah. Very expensive. So, in my mind, they would just design a ride around the terrain. But I feel like if you took out Nemesis, you'd have to be building, like, an incredible thing. Well, yeah, you'd have to build something of equal scale, for sure. Um, Which I'm sure they would do. You know, they'd take it out and replace it. Yeah. I'm sure that's on their plan. Um, You can't just, yeah, take it out and not replace it with anything. People would be fuming. Yeah. But yeah, I'd rather than build a new ride than replace the trains. Yeah, I just feel like that's a really weird move to just retrack it. It just extends the pain of like, get, you might as well just take the plaster off. Do you mm. know what I mean? Because even if you retrack it, at some point in the future, you're going to have to remove it. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Prolongs the pain, man. It's a good coast though, you know, it definitely could yeah, last. Yeah, of course. But... Yeah, I mean, not anytime soon they're going to have to do anything. Mm. Um, what's your favourite dark ride in the UK? Darren Brown's Ghost Train. Yeah. I like that. Not a lot of people do, but I like it a lot. I like it I a lot. appreciate it. Mm. But I well, don't it's not like your cup of tea, is it? So. Ooh, it's too scary. I just, it just spooks, like, there's too many jump scares. I just end up closing my eyes, so then I'm like, what's the point of going on it? Mm. When I'm just going to sit there and not watch it. And but. as much as people don't believe this, um, Disney looked at Darren Brown's Ghost Train when they were for their ride, Rise of the Resistance, mm-hmm. which is quoted to be one of the, the best dark rides, if not the best dark ride in the world. Yeah. So it says something about Darren Brown's Ghost Train. If Disney it's got to be it. good if they're well, exactly. using it as inspiration. It, it, it was good and it was very innovative. Yeah. And that's the point. I like it because it's unlike anything else and it still is unlike anything else. Um, I'd be surprised if someone tries to build something similar now. <laughs> you know. Oops. Whoa. Will be a carriage down. Yeah. Aww. We can glue it later. Yeah. There you go. First <laughs> casualty. Man oh down. Dear. Oh, it's just so fiddly. Do you want me to do some? We can have a go if you want. Yeah, go on. How do you do it? You have a read of the question. You gotta, so. you gotta put like it on there okay, see okay i'll read some questions i'm just gonna break all of these now <laughs> don't break them um best wooden coaster in the uk for me it's why are you even questioning that wicker man i was trying to think of the name i forgot it you forgot the name yeah <laughs> what's the it's thrillomatic it's very good it's a very good ride um it's very nice but I mean, I mean, I wouldn't exactly call Wallace and Gromit an in-depth dart ride. It's yeah. more like a, a showcase of Wallace and Gromit, which I is why like it's good, it but it ain't DGBT good. Uh, saw a Mumbo Jumbo. Easily saw. I'm sorry, but this is insane. I know, that's what I've done. Look how many I've done. <laughs> how have you done it? Um, I can't even get one in. Okay, one's in. Oh, what would I put inside the No Way Out building? I don't know. Um, that's a good question. 
I think you could build some really nice indoor dart ride coaster that's again more family orientated. I don't know the the Walking Dead seemed like a an in, like interesting move, but a move in the wrong direction to take a family coaster and make it a thrill coaster. I still think a indoor family coaster would be a much better kind of use of that space. Hmm. Uh, Thor Seek says so. You can do it. No, I really can't. <laughs> I'm getting there though. Uh, NF Attraction says, have you ever been to Oakwood? Yes, we, I went to Oakwood in 2016. I mean, we were going to go uh, last year, but we will probably end up going this year. Yeah, um, because we live in Wales now. Yeah, so we live in Wales, nice. so it's not too far away. I did it. Nice. There's one more. This one. So yeah, we, we will go. Uh, I'd like to get back on Speed No Limits is a fantastic um, Eurofighter, and then Megaphobia is a fantastic wooden roller coaster as well. Uh, big fans of both of those rides. Uh, would you rather Thor Park Magic Land expansion or Alton Tower Alton Tower's <laughs> height limit removed? I would honestly much prefer the first one. I feel like Alton what do Towers, you mean Magic Land? As in, like they just get more land. Okay. I feel like Alton Towers. The whole ethos of the park is now built around the fact that they have that height limit. And it's always caused them to produce unique roller coasters. And I'd like them to keep doing that. Um, so. Thorpe needs more space. Yeah, and then if Thorpe get that, an expansion, they can fit in their B&M hyper coaster, you know? <laughs> this is craziness. It is difficult. Has he got it, haven't you? Nearly. Oh, no. Nearly. I mean, it looks like it should go in, but it's not. Come it's on. the bottom one. Come on. Um, yeah, Megaphobia is awesome. Uh, favorite video you've uploaded? I don't know. There's there's so many. And each year we upload better stuff. Some favorite videos of this year. Um, how do theme parks reduce wait times? I really like that one. That was a lot of good fun to do. Um, I was really happy with how... Uh, the history of roller coaster launch has turned out with all the animations. That mm. one's a really good one. Made a good uh, video with Screwy Loops. The um, the something like the death of uh, record breaking roller coasters. You know, the end of record breaking roller coasters, I should say. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with uh, Chris from Screwy Loops doing that one. Did it. Well done. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's a uh, loads of videos I like this year, and I think next this. Last year, sorry. <laughs> and uh, this year, I think we're going to have some, some really good ones as well. Um, we've got a lot in the pipeline, lots of ideas. So hopefully it'll be another absolute banger of a year. <laughs> oh, man. How long are we going for? Uh, an hour now. An hour. God, can we finish? What's the next steps then? You have to put all the little carriages on there yeah and then put it on here yeah okay so once the carriages are on it'll be all right cool what's everyone's favorite roller coaster in the chat interested see where we're all, we're all, we're all from it's usually a good indication, isn't it? Sometimes. America, Intimidator 305, three, Fury 325. Taron. Taron, a good one. Fury, yeah. Candemonium. Candemonium, nice. Phantom's Revenge. Yep. Zadra, yep. Flying Dinosaur. Oh, Flying Dinosaur. Steve, Nemesis, Smiler. Couple of Smilers. Piratan. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Quite a unique variety. Mm. What about theme parks? Favourite theme, theme parks? Theme parks is such a hard question. Yeah, though. I think it's a much harder question to answer. 100%. Than because roller coaster. it's like a group of things, not just one. Yeah. Like, it's it's kind of hard to find a park that's got everything you want exactly. in it. Well, it usually doesn't exist. Well, exactly. Um... Fantasia Land, Hershey Park. Oh, someone here said their favourite coaster is a Smiler, but Crush's coaster at Disneyland Paris gets a shout out. 
How do you feel? Well, it's a good coaster, it just ain't Disney good. <laughs> Simple as. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Port Aventura, Efteling, Alton Towers in Chesington, Port Aventura, Blackpool, Pleasure Beach, Leesburg, big up. A uh, question here, what do you think SW9 will be? Um, oh, again, that's such a hard question. Going, because going back to what I was saying about what do they need? Yeah. What do they need? They don't need anything. So They're they, done. They don't need anything. They need to replace Rita with a better launch coaster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I mean, a, a second launch coaster, a multi launch coaster could be something. Um, I think a lot of people are always keen on a water coaster. Hmm. Uh, but, but I don't know if it would get that much use or yeah. like. Yeah. And it's not very thrill orientated. I'd like to see Alt Tower's next coaster be more of a thrill orientated yeah. water coaster. So perhaps a water coaster could be, you know, the next after next. But mm. Keep the questions coming in, guys. Everyone's naming their um, favourite park still. And what other parks? Bush Gardens, Tampa. Uh -huh. Tivoli Gardens or Universal Studios, Japan. Oh, yeah. Cedar Point, Wallaby Holland. Alton Towers, Energylandia. Energylandia is going to be a real shock, in it? What? There's going to be so much stuff there. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be so, so much stuff many... there, but half of it's going to be crap. Well, yeah, but it's just going to be like so many different things. Yeah. Lots of new types of coasters. Yeah. Someone says bring back the flume. No. <laughs> it was bad. No. The flume was bad. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that good. Flumes are just like... Old. Yeah. Old news. They are pretty old news. It's funny how they like were very popular. Well, because of their interest. And now it's just kind of like, mm hmm. Plus, theme parks. BM yeah. inverts were popular at one point in time, and now they're just like, mm hmm. Yeah. So, and I'm sure RMCs will have the same fate eventually mm. and become old news. One day. Exactly. One day everything will be old news. Mm hmm. That's why we need the London Resort, man, because it's all going to be new news. <laughs> <laughs> off the press um what are your theme park plans for the year and would you do collabs collabs we, yeah 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 so last year we did well last year i said that it would be the year of the collab so i aim to try and do like four different collabs uh throughout the the year and we did that in the end we did one with um pleasure beach experience what is the big one did the charity live stream with loads of different people in it um we did the Community Canyon uh, Planet Coaster map uh, yep. and that had loads of people in as well um, and then ended it out with a video with screwy loops. So definitely going to continue doing collabs this year. Um, who knows, I wanted to do more of my like in-person collabs but obviously, I mean that was the intention for 2020 but obviously yeah. that didn't happen. Um, so whether we'll be able to do that this year, who knows. But Definitely uh, always interested to try and like collab and if you have any ideas of who we could collab with and in what way, we're definitely yeah. open to ideas. So that's and nice. also people who get on the podcast because that's another thing we like to do. Yeah, it? yeah. Just have a chat with people. For sure. Mm. Did you ever ride Charlie in the Chocolate Factory? Um, as a young kid, yes, but I can't remember. I don't think I did. You did? No, I don't think I did. I might have done. When was it? Was it up oh. when I went when I was a kid? I don't know. It was something was at that point. In like 2013? I don't know. Yeah, I think it probably was. Actually, no, it would have been 2011 when I was 13. Yeah, it might have been. Yeah. Who knows? We have no memory for that. No, oh, it's a spare car. <gasps> Is there? They knew you were going to do that. Well, they, they knew I was going to break Yeah, one. they really did. Is there actually? Well, look, is there, they're all filled, yeah. Yeah, that's good then. There's a spare. Happy days. 
Can you see Vacoma becoming a bigger manufacturer in the future? I mean, they're already a huge manufacturer, but after the success of Fly and Lech Costa and Abacus, I'm sure I will do well. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if they just continued. <laughs> <laughs> if they just continue to grow, um, and well, not grow, but as in the sense of if, innovate. Well, no, but continue to provide bigger roller coasters. Right. Okay. They're not always, you know, synonymous with big, cool roller coasters. Whereas I think headliners. You yeah, mean. yeah, headliners. Yeah. Whereas I think in the future. That could be, definitely be a thing that they become synonymous with and, and more parks will go to them for... Um, Headliners. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. What is the best collab you've done? That's rude. Can't That's that. rude. <laughs> uh, I, uh, yeah, so I really liked the charity live stream. Obviously yeah. it was... Um, you had a lot of fun to do. And it turned out really well. Um, so I think we'll definitely end up doing another live stream in the future uh, of a similar scale for sure. You know, I've been thinking about it, you know, doing another charity live stream. But um, it's what, what do we include is the question, you know, to what make do you it mean? well, to make it different. Last Our year's, sections. Different yeah, sections. yeah, yeah. Last year's was good, but it was kind of very, I don't know. I feel like we could up the production value and make it just more interesting, mm -hmm. generally, um, and spend more time kind of thinking about it. Cause last yeah, it was year a bit didn't. rushed, like we quickly put it together. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't know. So we'll, we'll definitely think about that. Uh, and Ways to make it more interactive, I guess. Yeah, exactly. And we'll get more people on. I think we need more. It was very heavily UK based and I know there's a lot of people who probably would have liked to come on from America and from other parts of Europe. Yeah, um, we need to do it so time zones work out as well. Yeah, so perhaps we'll have to make a longer one. Uh-oh. Go up to a 12 hour 24 live stream. hours. I mean, it would be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> but yeah, like a 12 hour live stream that goes at, uh, up until like 6 in the morning UK time or like 3 in the morning UK time so that yeah. American people can get involved more. What's your favourite manufacturer and type? Uh... Favorite type of roller coaster is in model is the um, Gerstlauer Infinity Coaster. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's just fantastically diverse. You know, you can build any coaster, any type of roller coaster with a Gerstlauer Infinity Coaster. Yeah. So you can build a hyper coaster, a launch coaster, a family coaster, um, whatever you want. So that's my favorite model. Favorite manufacturer because of that is probably Gerstlauer, but big fan of you know, the, the big ones like Intamin and Mac and B&M. Um, I, yeah, I don't know who between Mac or B&M. There's not many I don't like. It's, yeah. I, again, it's a difficult question. Isn't it? They all do different things. Depends which like type you're talking about as well, because some of them are bad, but then some of them aren't from mm. the same manufacturer. Yeah. Um, someone says, what equipment do you have? In what sense? I don't know. So for a camera, we shoot most of our videos as in like I shoot footage uh, on a camera which is the Panasonic Lumix G9. It's quite yeah. old now. Um, it is actually. It, it took me ages to save up for it. We got and the, to decide on one. Yeah. We got the camera. Well, I, got, I bought the camera in like February of 2018, which seems so long ago now. Well, it um, is though. Yeah, I guess it is. And it's it, only three years old. Yeah, it, Ugh. I could only afford it because people supported us on Patreon. It was literally paid for pretty much like two thirds of it by people on Patreon uh, at the time. Um, so, you know, you can thank them that we even got a camera that quickly. But yeah, it's quite old. Um, shoots 4K though, which is what I wanted. Then we got a, this is a Blue Yeti, which I got given to me by someone. And again, this is like eight years old or something like that. So we're quite old. <laughs> yeah, we've done a blog post on it, haven't we? Mm. The office tour yeah. that lists everything you have. Your keyboard's new, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> got a relatively new keyboard, um, relatively new mouse. You know, you've got to show the mouse. Ta-da. You can't even see it. I don't know what it is. NX Master. Oh, it's like a... What is it? Read it. It's on the bottom. Logi. It's Logitech. 
MX Master 2S. There you go. It's Love quite a nice one. Things. It's expensive. But, yeah, I mean, I'm not one to buy stuff just because I want the newest. Um, you know, so I haven't bought a new camera yet because our camera is more than it's fine. It's pretty good, yeah. Exactly. I mean, it does everything that we need it yeah. to do, so. Yeah, exactly. Um, somebody's put brother and sister question mark, and I hope that's not about us. Yeah, it probably is. Okay, no, we're not. Um, <laughs> um, we are girlfriend and boyfriend, not brother and sister. Do we actually look that alike? I don't think we do. Maybe we do in this lighting. We'll find out in a minute, won't we? Hmm. Um, Mm -mm. Favourite water park? I don't think we've been to that many, have we? No. We're not really big water park people. Not at all. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of water parks, honestly. I don't like slides where they're like enclosed, so I feel like going to a water park would just be a bit of a waste of time. Might as well just go to the swimming pool, you know, because that's all I'd do. Yeah, you get spooked, don't you? Mm. Um, what's your favourite type of element? Favourite type of element? Yeah. So like airtime inversions. I mean, I don't really have a specific one. But do you prefer airtime or inversions? Well, I don't. I like both. We've had this conversation, haven't I, we? I, yeah. We, I don't prefer one. I want you a ride that has everything. Amounts, yeah, yeah, exactly. I think I'd just choose airtime. It's slightly above inversions. I think, yeah, I, I guess. The thing is, if you put airtime in, you can't really go wrong. Whereas yeah. if you put inversions in, you can go wrong. Yeah. But then a really well-placed inversion adds a hell of a lot to a ride. There's so, more high stakes, but the payoff's better. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. So. What bit are you building now? The bottom bit? The bench. Oh. At the very oh, end. Oh, is this meant to be a little lamp? Yeah. I see. Well, that's good that they put a spare one in. They put loads of spares in. Did they? Yeah. They must know. Yeah. Well, I didn't break that much. No, you only broke one bit, which is pretty good. I thought we were going to break the main bit and then it'd be like, well, I, can't I, even I do did it. break the main bit, didn't I? I not, can't tell. Not a lot. It's going in. Here we go, the last piece. <laughs> Can you see it, yeah? Yep. It's the lamp. <laughs> the lantern, whatever you call it. Jeez. It's in. Yay. Well done. We did it. That didn't we take too long then. It sticks a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think you put it on too tight. Oh, yeah, well, it's fine. Yay. I'm not exactly going to be spitting it. <laughs> so, there you go. Happy days. Nice one. Where are you going to put it? Don't know. <laughs> oh. Well done. Is that painful? Uh, yeah, it hurts my fingers. <laughs> Would you there think you then should it have been an 8 plus or? Yeah, I think 8 plus is fine. It wasn't that hard, it was just tedious. It's just fiddly. Parts. I think if it was bigger. I've got some sanded paper here. Ooh. I've got sanded paper before. Did I? Yeah, no, it was just a bit tedious and fiddly. fiddly. So, mm -hmm. thank you, Parksville. Very much appreciated. Um, I do need some track loop plus so I can spin better. <laughs> mm. Mm. I watched, um, he's done a series called uh, some like weird theme park news. And like both times now has included me. I can't remember what the first one was, but the second one was because me and Sil were talking about first of all, lube, yeah, yeah. We we were looking at roller coaster manufacturers' website, and then they had track lube on there. And I said, Sil, you know, if you if you ever need some lube, I know where I know where you can find it. And then Sil posted that on Twitter. Nice one. How rude. So <laughs> yeah, track lube plus. Haven't tried it. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I'm sure that I'm sure it would work, work wonders on that. I'm not sure it would on wood though. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> oh <my God>. I'd <clears throat> go for it, Parks, but I don't mind. You need something to fill up weird theme park news. I'm sure there's only so much of it. <laughs> <laughs> Harry loves it really. Um, 
Yeah, let's get final questions in before I go and rest my fingers. <laughs> Have you had a nightmare? I don't... Yeah, so Camelot. Someone asked earlier if we'd, I'd been to Camelot. And I can't remember going to Camelot, but it's probably... The, it closed in, what, 2005 or something like that. So maybe you did. Maybe I did, but I can't remember. We might have not. We went to um, American Adventure, which is another UK theme park that closed around the same time as that. Um, so, but, yeah, I don't know. So I, I don't think I've ridden a nightmare. I can't remember riding it. Um, so. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? This is a good one. Would you rather meet John Wardley or, or meet B&M, but they can speak English and you can speak French? So meet B&M or meet John Wardley? Um, I feel like meeting Bolliger and Mabiad is a bit more elusive than meeting John Wardley. I'd meet John Wardley. Yeah. What are you going to ask see, him Just to see what he's like. You know. I, I can gauge what he's already like. Can you? Yeah, for sure. I don't think he's very different to what he comes across and everything. Okay. You know, so... Um, whereas you don't really see a lot of Bolliger and Mabiad in... in hmm just TV, not TV, but... The media. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it'd be interesting. Interesting to ask them about, did they think when they started that it would become yeah. all this, you know? Um, Let Coaster looks really good. Uh, really interesting ride. I'd love to try it. The setting looks great as well. Um, and again, I think it's one of the coasters, like, just showcase of Vacoma being... Uh, a fantastic manufacturer and kind of stepping up their game mm. to, to do better and better things. Does it look like what the image in the picture? In it kind of does actually. You can't see, but yeah, it does. Yeah. I'm still surprised how small it is. That's I the... like it, it's really cute. Mad. Uh, Techno Andrew says, Do you see the Towers Congo Rapids ride being removed in the near future? Ever since they turned off the waterfalls, it seems to be in a downgraded state. It really does. Um, it seems to be kind of less intense and less kind of crazy as it used to be. So, I don't know though. It's it's a, still a family favourite, the Rapids, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and I like it a lot. It I, just never gets old though, does it? No. I wish they would just turn back everything, you know, turn off everything again and, and put it back to its normal state, put the water guns back on and all that kind of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But then it's a lot of land, a lot of space, you know. If you could take that station and put a... Um, a huge station on there, have a roller coaster run around Catania Canyon, it'd be really good. So. <laughs> no, I said she probably did ride it. If you went on it. What, Charlie and John? Yeah, 2006, 2015, it was over. Okay. Maybe, yeah. So. Yeah, who knows? Anyway, I think we'll call it there. Uh, thank you so much for watching this one. Mm -hmm. um, we did it. We did do it. We indeed. didn't break it. We didn't, so there well, you go. Not so silly. let's have one final, one final look at it. Here it is. <laughs> Fantastic. You got a park bench. You got the heart-shaped gondolas. What more could you want? I'll put that right on my desk, probably. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find a space for it. Yeah. Kind of Maybe we should paint it or something. I was going to say, but yeah. then I might ruin it a little bit. Yeah. There you go. Happy days. Cool. Anyway, again, thank you all for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the live streams. I don't know how much live streams, we'll, how many we'll do kind of... Um, this it, year? In the future. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, live streaming, man. What's it all about? It's a lot of pressure, man. I don't know. I feel like I just have to have something to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll continue to do live streams. Maybe we'll do more quizzes. Um, I think, I definitely think we'll do another charity stream this year for sure. Um, hopefully it'll be a bit bigger and better than the last one but uh, yeah thank you for tuning in hope you enjoyed watching us build this <laughs> and um, we'll see you soon have a fantastic 2021 everybody 